Before we start, please hear a message from International News Today Network. Starting today, for every subscriber, International News Today Network will plant one tree to save our planet. Please help contribute in saving our planet by subscribing to our channel. One subscriber equals one tree. Thanks. After months of heavy fighting, Russia has declared victory over the massive Azovstal steel plant in strategic port city of Mariupol that has been almost entirely destroyed. There has not been confirmation from Ukrainian authorities. The US and others walked out of an international meeting in Bangkok in protest as Russia's economic minister was speaking, and UK. Prime Minister Boris Johnson has spoken to his Turkish counterpart to address his opposition to Sweden and Finland's NATO bids. Meanwhile, Russia may be running low on crucial supplies of unmanned aerial vehicles, and has halted gas supplies to Finland in response to its application to join the NATO alliance. McKinsey and Co. A major global consulting firm, worked with both a Russian weapons maker and the Pentagon simultaneously, NBC News reported today. An NBC investigation uncovered that McKinsey advised Rostec, a Russian state-owned manufacturing company in recent years. The company manufactures engines for missiles, including many of the weapons that Russia has fired on Ukraine since its February invasion. The scope of McKinsey's work with Rostec did not directly involve weapons, according to the report. Still, the consulting firm was working on national security contracts for the U.S. government, including the Defense Department and U.S. intelligence community. It's the latest accusation of conflicts of interest faced by McKinsey. The consulting firm previously worked with opioid manufacturers while advising officials at the U.S. Food and Drug Administration on opioids. Congress has also scrutinized the company for its work in China. A McKinsey spokesman told NBC News that it has strict rules and firewalls to safeguard against conflicts of interest, and that its work abroad is walled off from its work in Washington.